Welcome back. My second guest today is Dr. Dave Dampier. He is the uh, Center Director for the Distributed Analytic Security Institute. Dave, it's good to have you here. Glad to be here. And first of all, let me say congratulations on recently getting the Mary Lynn and Miles, Niles Mosley Endowed Chair in Cybersecurity. Thank you very much. Now, the Center, Darcy, as, as we call it, is a relatively new center it is. on campus. Um, how did that come about and what, what was the history behind all of that? Okay, well, we've been doing cybersecurity for a long time at Mississippi State, but we never could get to the point where we had a, enough um, manpower to do something really substantial. And I made the comment to uh, the Vice President for Research that we needed to build um, manpower, we needed to build um, a force of people that could go after big grants. And so. Uh, in 2014, he gave me permission to, uh, actually 2013 I applied. Uh, we got the center created and I became the director in May of 2014. Um, we eventually rose to having uh, 17 full-time employees uh, and about 25 part-time faculty working in the center and about 30 postdocs and graduate students. That, that, that's fantastic. Right. Now, um, cybersecurity obviously is a, a very big topic very in, the, in topic. the news at the mm -hmm. moment. What, what, what are some of the research that, that you guys are doing over there? Okay, so we have um, we do a lot of malware identification, malware attribution uh, work. Uh, the work that's going on um, looks at a piece of malware, determines how it manifests itself in memory, and tries to identify where it came from. Uh, is it a nation state piece of malware? Was it developed by a particular person? Um, that kind of thing. And so those, what we've discovered is that we can use uh, the memory signatures of the malware to um, attribute it to a family of malware. And we've gotten great success at doing that. Uh, a, a lot of our other work, it takes advantage of the high performance computing capability that we have in building very large network graphs. And when I say very large, I mean billions, if not trillions of edges uh, in the graph. And so we've got projects looking at analyzing those graphs, at visualizing those graphs. And then we have one project um, that is generating graphs based on botnet activity. Uh, and so it's been very exciting. Yeah, I mean, it, it sounds it. So if there's a, a high school student sitting at home or their parents mm -hmm. or, or someone and they think, well, this is a field that I really wanted to get into, right? what, what would be the options for them coming to Mississippi State? Okay. Well, currently, um, a person who wants to study cybersecurity, a young person can come and study in any one of six um, disciplines, computer science, computer engineering, electrical engineering, industrial engineering, software engineering, and information systems. And those uh, degrees, plans all lead into our cyber certificate program um, and they're eligible for participation in our cyber core scholarship program as well. Um, that's not really a DASI thing, but it is my responsibility to run that. So um, I still do it and we do it through DASI. Now the other thing is we always, we've always for the last 10 years had high school students working in our lab as well. And so we have high school students that express interest in coming and we welcome them um, and can put them to work, quite frankly, uh, and undergraduates uh, as well. So we have regularly 10, 12, 15 uh, undergraduate students working in the lab, as well as all the graduate students that we have. Yeah, I think it, it's always important for undergraduate students to get that research experience while they're mm -hmm. here. Um, it, it really kind of complements the, the coursework they, they take in, in classes as part right. of their, their regular so I, I, I believe that uh, you know undergraduate education very soon will be like a high school diploma was uh, years ago where you know it was expected that everybody's going to get a high school diploma and when you get that you've succeeded and I think very soon it's going to be the case that that to even succeed you're going to have to have a bachelor's degree of some kind yeah uh, and graduate education is going to be the thing that that differentiates people in the job market. Yeah, I think there's already studies that are showing that those kinds of trends as, mm -hmm. as well. So, um, just quickly, mm -hmm. someone gets a degree, gets their certificate in cybersecurity. Right. Um, what, what are the job options for those people? Unlimited. 
<laughs> the, gover the government right now has a requirement for over 2,000 cybersecurity engineers. They don't have anywhere near that number of, of students to fill them. Uh, in addition to that, corporate America has also started to hire cybersecurity people. Every organization now needs their own cybersecurity staff because it's a full-time job, keeping up with the security of your own systems, but not only that is the intelligence. Dave, it's been great talking to you this afternoon. My Thank pleasure. you for, for joining us at, at home. Remember, you can always follow us on uh, social media at MSU Engineering for all the latest news from the college. <laughs>